Welcome to Thick Boy Fight News. Let's dive in. In an exclusive sit-down with Thick Boy Fight News, Sean Strickland shared his thoughts on Hamza Chemaev potentially moving up to the middleweight division. Strickland has trained with Hamza in the past, but still sees him as a potential opponent despite their good relationship. You know, with Hamza coming 85, again, everybody's a potential, potential opponent. I love Marvin Vittori, but me and him might fight one day. It just comes down to the rankings, you know. He might come to 85 and f***ing love it and want to stay, or he might come and want to go back down. So. It all just comes down to the rankings. I've never told the UFC I won't fight anybody, so if they throw the name up, obviously. I'll buy McMaynard, but he's not ranked, and McMaynard's like, hey, but can do it. I'm like, all right, you gonna pay me more money? They'll buy do it. I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll fight an unranked guy. But uh, no, I guess he'll like it. I mean, cutting weight fucking sucks. I think he'll enjoy 85 and he'll want to stay there. Strickland then talked about his upcoming five-round main event fight with Jared Cannonier. The fight is scheduled to take place on December 17th at UFC's Apex Arena. Strickland feels like a victory over Cannonier will put him in place for a title shot, but doesn't see the belt as the end-all be-all for his career. I mean, ideally, you know, I paid my fucking dues. If I beat Cannonier, UFC give me a fucking title shot, man. Give me a fucking title shot. So hopefully if I beat Cannonier, maybe, you know, a way to fight. But then again, it's like, do I really want to wait can eight months to fight for a belt? I mean, belts are fucking cool and all, but like, I can get like four fights by the time I get one fucking title shot. So I don't know, man. I'll play that by ear. Featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky will be the backup for UFC 280's main event, the lightweight title bout between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev. Volkanovsky, who has cleared the featherweight division, has expressed interest in the past of moving up to claim double champ status and is now just one mishap away from an opportunity. On his YouTube channel, Volkanovsky broke the news. We're locked in as a backup fighter. I've been calling it. I said I wanted it. Just had to make sure the hand was all good. So we're all good. We're locked in and we got the clearance to fight. The UFC is on board. Everyone is on board. So I'll be at UFC 280 to make weight and yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. If someone doesn't make it, I'm there to save the day. If not, at least I'm locked in as the next guy to fight for that lightweight title. And that's that. Staying with UFC 280, Sean O'Malley's coach, Tim Welch, spoke with Submission Radio about O'Malley's upcoming bout with Piotr Jan. Welch is extremely confident in Sean's striking ability and believes that his technical strikes and size advantage will be too much for Jan to overcome. Just, uh, I mean, the matchup, the size difference, the matchup. I, I know how good of a striker is. Sean knows how good of a striker is. We train with a super elite people. We train with very good strikers, too. And all the people that he spars that are that size, he makes them look stupid. And and Peter's probably a little bit on another level than a lot of them, and he's going to be really tough. But a big cage and the size difference and the speed difference and the accuracy of Sean and how good he is at, at punching at range, I think it's going to be the closer we get, uh, I feel like Sean could make Peter look stupid. Looking for more original MMA content? Check out the rest of Thick Boy YouTube. Exclusive interviews, opinion, and fight analysis is available weekly on The Shop Show, Food Truck Diaries, and Fight Night Flashbacks. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the action.